Welcome to my lecture online. Here's our second example of a cyclic process. And in this case, a cyclic process includes an isothermic process. This is what we call an isobaric process, and this is an isovolumetric process. So together, all three form a cyclic process, and the work done by this process equals the area inside. But here, it's a little bit more difficult to calculate the area inside, so we have to use a slightly different technique. We do want to find the work done by the cycle, the change in internal energy, and the heat added to the cycle. But right away we realize that in the cycle, the change in internal energy must be zero when we end up in the same place as we started, and that the amount of heat added to the gas will equal the work done by the gas. And we'll check that later on with our calculations. What you will have to do is find the temperature at these various points, at A, at B, and at C. Of course, the temperature at B must equal the temperature at C because this is an isothermic process where the temperature doesn't change. So we have indicated that over here. But to find the temperature at A, we use the, the uh, equation that we use for the ideal gas equation. And then for temperature B, again, the ideal gas equation gives us those two temperatures. All we have to do is plug in the values for pressure, volume, and the number of moles is 2 and R, the gas constant. Then we need to take each of the parts of the cycle one at a time. First from A to B, it is an isovolumetric process, so the work done is zero, and the heat added is equal to the change in internal energy, which is equal to NC sub V times delta T. Going from B to C, we have the equation for work done, and so we need to know the temperature, which we get from there, and we need to know the final initial volumes which were given. The change in internal energy will be zero, and the heat added to the gas will equal the work done by the gas. Finally, going from C to A, that's an isobaric process. It'll be the work done will be the pressure times the change in the volume. Notice that it's a negative change in volume, so we'll get a negative result for the work done. For the internal energy, we, should, we will also get a negative result because the temperature decreases going from right to left. It's NC sub V delta T. And then finally, for the heat added to the gas, or in this case, the heat removed from the gas because the temperature decreases, NC sub P delta T. That's all you need to calculate everything about this particular cycle. So I'm going to now plug in the values. All right, so there you have it. There are the results. If you work this out and you get the same results, you are in good shape. This is how we work a cyclic process that contains an isothermic process. Or I should say, how do you deal with a cyclic process? Yes, that includes an isothermic process. That's, that's how it's done.